Today we're going to go through the setup on a Green Star rate controller. Just a very basic, general, what I have a lot of in my area. So we're going to start with going to our ISOBUS VT. This one's going to be on an NH3 tool. Uh, we are a 15 knife applicator this time. So normally you will go in here, hit new, but I'm using simulator, and then you would click on your implement type and your then name it. But that's all right done for us on this one. So we're going to go start with setting up our sections. So actually I need to back up because our width is 37 and a half for a 15 knife applicator. And since this was pretty a pretty basic setup, we only have three sections. And all three of them are going to be 12 and a half. So then once we have that, we're going to go to system and put in our control valve type. On this particular one, it's going to be fast close. Our control valve calibration to start with on this one, again, always look at the tag that's on your control valve to put in the correct number that's on it first. 743 is what's on this one. Uh, you may have to adjust that a little bit once you get running. Uh, then our flow meter calibration. This one is 720. And always double check your units because ours is 720 for pulses per 10 gallons. And we don't have any pressure sensors on this one. So next tab over here at the top is alarms. And I generally don't mess with those much. Uh, if you want to play with them a little bit, once you get running, you can. So you get a little bit earlier warning if you need to when you're getting low. Uh, or if your rate gets off, you want to know a little sooner or a little later, that sort of thing. Uh, and then go under rates. And I always, most of my customers and myself, I prefer to have it running on actual nitrogen. So... We don't really care how many pounds of product we're putting on. We want to know how many pounds of N we are putting on. So once we have done that, we can close that page. Now our brake controller stuff is all set up, but we have to go to setup over in the bottom left. And we don't have an implement at the moment. So we need to add an implement and then assign our rate controller to it. So we're going to hit add implement. We're going to go with 2510H on this one. If yours isn't in there, you would hit new profile, fill it all out. So 2510H, and then click back on 2510H. Select that it does have a rate controller. Scroll down and double check that you have your correct dimensions in here. And this box right here is where a lot of people mess up where it says this is additional operations. So that's an additional operation that is not being performed by the rate controller. So if you put in a uh, nitrogen application there, it will not map or won't map correctly. So you leave that blank. Save, and go to NH3 here, click on 2510H, hit okay. And then scroll down. You want to measure and double check your work point. So that's going to be from your connection point. So the pivot pin on your draw bar back to where product is being applied. So you just measure from the draw bar to, I usually go with, if my knives are staggered, I'll pick one in the center. Hit save. And resume our work. And we're going to update our track spacing to 37 and a half. Hit OK. And that's all there is to it.